I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of solid waste management. Uh, it is particularly for VTU students. Moving on to the discussion, in this topic, we are going to discuss what are the various elements of solid waste management. We have already discussed about the solid waste management, the function, the types of solid waste, etc. in the previous session. It's already, videos are already been uploaded uh, and it's already available in the description box and as well as I button. If you are watching our channel first time, kindly uh, share and subscribe the channel. As we are discussing the various elements of solid waste management, as you can observe, these are the various elements starting from generation, on-site handling and storage, then the collection of waste, then transfer and transportation. In between, there is a processing and the resources. Okay, that means it's like identifying the, the best items. Also, we are uh, mainly focusing on the disposal. These are the various elements of solid waste management. You can represent uh, the same uh, type of like uh, different elements of solid waste management in the form of a simplified block diagram as shown in the diagram. It can be asked in the examination also. If there are 10 marks, okay, then five marks will be given for the block diagram. So please be cautious while preparing for examination. You need to draw the block diagram. Later, we will explain the individual segment of the various elements of solid waste management. Right from the beginning, the waste generation. Let's understand the reason for waste generation. Household, commercial area, industries, institution, street cleaning are the few examples of waste generation. It is a beginning or it's a first part of the solid waste management process. Second one is called on-site handling and storage. If I talk about uh, like a uh, storage, we can see like a uh, plastic containers, conventional dustbin, then oil drums and uh, storage bins. Uh, then these are the different type of waste storage system that is designed based on the size and volume. Also, the material material is also very important. What kind of waste you are going to collect? Based upon that, you are going to collect the waste storage. Some like a metal type of waste, it is too corrosive. So while collecting that particular waste, you should be very much careful. Another one is called waste collection. If I talk about the waste collection, it depends on the number of containers. Then frequency of collection, in the sense, how many times in a day the municipality people are visiting to a particular place and collecting the waste. How often they are visiting? Are they visiting once in a day or twice in a day? Depends. Types of collection service and routes. Where to visit first? So here you need to apply the transportation problem uh, in management. You might have studied about the operations management. Here, where to visit first? Okay, routing. All those things are actually purely based on the management concept. That is called a waste collection. Let's see the block diagram. Another one is called transfer and transport. What is the significance of transfer and transport? For anyway, transportation is very important. There are two types of vehicles available. One is called a like a non-compactor vehicle. Other one is called a compactor vehicle. Both can be used for the like a transport. And also, what is the significance of transfer? That is actually in between. Uh, we need to like a, there is a waste generation. Let me draw one diagram. So we have two segments. Okay. So first one is called, let me draw the diagram so the concept will be very clear. So first of all, generation. Okay, waste generation. Next is actually called a transfer station. Next is disposal. Here we are talking about the transfer station, like a segregation, separation, all the activity will be carrying out the transfer station. It is in between waste generation and waste disposal. G stands for waste generation. D stands for waste disposal, where uh, T is the in-between in station, like a transfer station. Okay, I hope you got the idea about the transfer station. That comes under the transfer and transport, like uh, we are using like transportation and we are using the transfer station for the segregation, separation, etc. That is called a transfer and transport. Processing. Processing is actually like uh, reducing the volume of the waste. You are actually doing the separation. Okay. Uh, that is called generally called as processing. Next is last day. Next one is called as recovery. So look at this processing the resources. Okay. So what is the second meaning of recovery? So like uh, some valuable item can be segregated because in metal, if I talk about the metal, some metal can be directly used. Some net and bolt can be uh, re recollected from the particular uh, group of waste. Some plastic item can be recycled. Likewise, uh, some uh, valuable items, some coins might be missed inside the group of waste, rubbish. So you can directly pick out that particular coin. These are the simple examples. 
okay so recovery and uh, or, uh, also recycling like thermoplastic can be easily recycled also like a glass plastic paper all the items can be easily recycled we can apply for three air concept what is the last stage yes of course waste disposal is the last stage like uh, in india conventional landfilling is commonly used there are different mechanisms like uh, incinerator so you can a partial combustion can be done in the incinerator also the combustion chamber is available you can use the combustion reaction with the oxygen uh, burning burning in presence of oxygen also sanitary landfilling is also one of the part of waste disposal which is considered as like a scientific system landfilling okay that is highly recommended but there are certain constraints that you need to follow these are the various elements of solid waste management in this session, we discussed about various elements of solid waste management with the help of a simple block diagram. You can refer the block diagram and explain by your own sentences without missing the valuable points. Let me know if you have any queries. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.